Hey guys and um, welcome back to K Munro Art. Um, today we're not doing any drawing or anything but I just want to do sort of like a unboxing kind of thing. Um, I did treat myself to the Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolour half pan studio set. There's 45 half pan colours so we're going to open that up in a sec uh, and we're going to have a look at the colours in there because I love colour, I love being bright but then I'm also going to have a quick test on some Bristol board paper um, which is just nice pure white paper do find it a bit difficult when building layers on this um, but it's alright for a quick wash you want to do something really simple it's bright white so it's great for colours so let's have a look literally came this morning so I'm mega excited and palettes and palettes <gasps> and colour and colour look at them right well I'm going to save you the pain of watching me open them all um, and we'll see you back in a sec how quick was that eh really took me about 10 hours no am I joking <laughs> right some of these colours <clears throat> oh they look amazing green is my favourite colour and I can't wait to get to this patch here but some of them I can't pronounce and I apologise now um, because I'm from South Yorkshire and I do like to turn words into slang and also to make it 10 times worse I do have a lisp believe it or not <laughs> Um, some of this, these words I can't pronounce so I'm going to try my best and if you want to enunciate it in the comments then please help me <laughs> but yes, oh, it was like opening little presents oh, it's like Christmas, Christmas all over again now what you also do get is just a little booklet telling you each colour so they are in the order that the booklet is in but it also tells you what the colour is called um, and also their light fastness and their permanence which I think is brilliant if you're a working artist and you want to use it for commissions things like that fantastic and it tells you all the different names and I love it absolutely love it I'm, oh, I'm just I'm like a child in a sweet shop honestly um, they also have the little wrappers that come around them and it tells you the name of the colour the permanence the pigment and the light fastness so again everything is there for you all the information is there you can learn each individual a little bit you can check each color perfect so down to the fun part now i'm going to leave this here because again i'm still not 100 percent i basically have just been mixing my own colors by eye and seeing what color they are as i need them so a lot of these i've, I've never even seen before um and but oh, emerald i can't wait to get to emerald oh, green but yes and also if you are struggling you lose this whichever on the side it does actually tell you lemon yellow hue it will tell you the details on there just the same so if you cut right down just to your palette you've got that there as well so let's have a look i am going to leave it there because I need to read it and remind myself what each colour is. So let's have a look. Pencil, pencil, I haven't got a pencil, I've got paintbrush. There we go, find words. Right, so some lemon yellow hue. Oh. Let's have a look at this. Oh my, look at that. How bright and nice is that? Right, let's have a look. Cadmium yellow pale hue. Oh, I like it, like it. Let me just point out at this point as well, I am not getting sponsored or anything for this video. It is literally my little present to myself. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys and you can share my excitement and my colours. So this is Gamboge hue. I've not heard of this one, you see. Ooh. I like 
like that. Done. Getting ideas now, what I can create, what can I make. So yeah, literally, this is just my views, my opinions. Cadmium yellow hue. So this is a normal cadmium. Cadmium. There we go. Look at that. So yes, I bought this pack on eBay. It was about forty pounds on eBay. You can get it on Amazon. You get, there's a few different places you can get it if you can have a shop around. Um, but again, I just bought it to treat myself and to treat you guys and watch these colours. So let's have a look. Cadmium orange. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right. Cadmium red. Pale hue. I didn't even realise there were so many variations. I just, like I say, I mix by eye and just get on with it. But I think I'm going to have a lot more fun with these. Right. Cadmium red. Oh, get a bit more water on that one. Oh, now look what I've done. There we go. Too excited, I tell you. Oh, cadmium red. Look at that. Right. Cadmium red deep hue. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Right then. Now this one is one I can't pronounce. Alizarin Crimson Hue. Crimson Hue. So, if I've pronounced that wrong, write in the comments how I'm supposed to enunciate that, please. Because I'm not 100% sure. But it's a nice colour. It's a very nice colour. Oh, look at that. I like it. Right. I don't know if I've got these in the right order, you know. No, I haven't. Oh, do you know? Useless. Oh, I have. <laughs> what I also forgot to mention um, is there are duplicates. So there is two of the crimson hue that I can't pronounce. Um, so they must be popular colours that people use a lot of. So yeah, that's back in the right order. Right, so this is permanent rose. Oh, I like that. I like the variations of these. Rose. Let's have a look. Like I say, it's all written on the side so you can double check as you go. Um, Rose Madder Hue. Let's have a look. Let pop back down here. Ooh. So you can just see the slight variation in the colour depending on uh, what tones you want to go for in your painting. Um, right, let's have a look. I'm just going to check these now because I'm not trusting myself. Purple Lake. See, I've never even heard of that one. Ooh. Look at that. Love it. Now, if you do buy this yourself, obviously I advise doing this yourself. Just going through each colour, just having a play, seeing what they like on the paper types that you like to use um, and see how the colours vary um, because not only is it fun but you also get to just to see how they react on your paper types right this is another one mauve is that how you pronounce it mauve mauve oh i like that i might dye my hair that colour really like that and um, right let's have a look Oh, is this another one I can't pronounce? Dioxazine purple. Do you know we're not having an English lesson today? Oh no, my hair's got to go with that colour. I like it. 
these are really strong colours. I absolutely love them. Right then, let's have a look. We're coming down onto us blues now. So we've got Ultramarine. I can say that one, and I've heard of that one. Ultramarine. Oh, yes. I'm getting a bit more erratic in my little squares, aren't I? Let's have a look what we got next. Cobalt Blue. See, there's two ultramarines. You nearly got a double ultramarine there. Cobalt Blue. The duplicates there, just try and throw me off. Mm, that's a karma one, that one. Again, that'll help in different tonal values. This is the one I've heard of, but my lisp doesn't help me. Cerulean Blue. Yeah, my lisp tends to, to like testing me on things like this. Everything's got an S in it. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Right, turquoise. Oh, one of my favourites. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh yes, yeah. Oh, I've got so many ideas for these colours, guys. It's unbelievable. Just need to get on with it. Oh, how are you all doing in the lockdown anyway? It must be really tough for you all. I've got the kids at home all the time now, so we're just trying to do different art things all the time, and homework and home studying. And it's just a bit stressful. Right, intense blue, thallo blue. Have I said that right? I've heard of it. I've never had to say it. That goes on really nice. I really like that. Prussian blue. So yeah, pop me a comment in the bottom. Let me know how you've been getting on. I'm not sure on this Prussian. A mm, bit more transparent. How we've been coping with social distancing and staying in and have we been doing more artwork? I've tried. It just gets so hard to keep motivated, especially when you've got all the cleaning to do and chasing kids around the house. Intense green, fallow green. Am I saying that right? Fallow, fallow. Oh, I like that. Green, favourite colour. That's why my boxes seem to be getting bigger and bigger. Viridian hue. Let's have a look. That's not a duplicate, is it? Viridian hue. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be nice. Oh, that, that green right there. My favourite, favourite green. Right. Emerald. Let's have a look. You're going to disappoint me now. Emerald. Oh, it's a bit grassy. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm torn now. Them two. I think my favourites. I do like the emerald, but I like the intensity of the Virid viridian hue. Right, let's have a look. I think we've we got two. Right, these are. Hooker's Green Dark. Please let me know why they've got that name. Because it's a bit strange. Unless it was a guy named Hooker, I don't know. But, um, yeah, see we're going a bit muddier now. And they're not my kind of green. Let's have a look. Hooker's Green Light. Ooh, I don't know that one's pumped back. Hooker's Green Light. Have a look. Sap green. Oh, I can see some lovely trees. Yeah. See, I do quite like that one as well. Not my favourite, then, to my favourite. Definitely. Raw umber. Oh, that's quite transparent. Oh, yeah, that's one of the normal ones here. Yeah. And what we got here? 
Oh no, I tell a lie, that was raw sienna. Oh dear no. Yeah, raw sienna, sorry, I tell a lie, raw sienna, yellow ochre. I'm getting ahead of myself, I tell you. Yellow ochre, oh, that's quite nice and strong, isn't it? Right. There's two yellow ochres, so I'm not gonna duplicate that for you. Let's try again on the raw umber, shall we? Raw umber, there we go. Oh yes. Landscapes, that'd be good for some landscapes. Right. This is burnt sienna. Oh yeah, I like that. Do I like that? Reds and greens. I suppose it's not a red really, it's more a brown. Let's have a look. Light red. Let's have a look. Mm. A bit muddy. I like it. Indian red. I keep checking these. Ooh, that's strong. Like that. Let's have a look. Right, burnt umber. If you like me, just sort of go through it and just look at the colours and see what values you want. You don't actually read one. What the names are, and I suppose you should really, because then you know if you're running out. Ooh, I like that. That's strong. If you're running out, you know what to buy next, don't you? But, right. Van Dyke Brown. Ooh, yes, I like that one as well. Let's have a look. Sepia. Very similar, just slightly different tone to it. Yeah. See how they dry. See what it looks like when it's dry. Right, and then we've got indigo. Oh, that's a nice strong one. Well, I hope you're liking all these colours because it gives me so many ideas. Payne's Grey. Oh yes, that I haven't had before. I've heard of it but I haven't had it before and that is a colour I need in my palette. And I'm so happy I've actually got that. Just to create so many different variations in colours. Ivory black. Let's have a look. Ooh, nice. I'm a bit scared of the blacks, I will admit that. They're quite, the black paints, they're quite dark, ivory black. And I'm scared to put them down for, because I don't want to make a mistake. I'm scared of mistakes. Um, lamp black. I'm scared of making a mistake and not being... Sorry about that guys, my battery just went on me then, yeah organized or what right so yes i was saying i'm scared of using the black paints because they're really really intense and i'm scared of making a mistake um which i'm i need to get over really lamp black like oh look at that how strong and intense that is i'm just it scares me because i don't want to make the mistake with it and then be stuck and then feel like i've wasted it which i know is stupid really because just start again and that's a part of art you've got to just keep trying and keep practicing and and build yourself bigger and bigger but oh look at that it does still scare me i'm a bit of a perfectionist that way so really I need to just get jumping in there don't i right so then we have two little duplicates on the end which are 
Chinese white. Now, I've never used watercolour white before. I was always taught not to use watercolour white. But, I'm quite intrigued now I'm here. Obviously, my water is a little bit discoloured. And it is white on a white background. Let's have a look on you. Ooh. And get that mixed in there. I'll be able to create some really funky effects. Let's have a look. Oh yes, I'm sure I can find some uses for that. Yes. Oh yes, yep. Yeah. I will be using that. So there you have it. That is the Cotman Watercolours by Windsor and Newton in a fantastic half pan studio set. 45 half pans. Like I say, there are some duplicates in there, but that is obviously because of the most popular colours, I'm guessing, um, and you will go through them fairly quick. Um, I hope that has helped you so you can see some of the variations in the colours. Um, obviously you can keep the little bits, I'm going to keep that so I can remind myself what colour is what. Um, and it's up to you if you want to move your pans about. Like I say, it does say on the side what colours they are, so if you get a little bit stuck. Now what I would suggest you do if you're buying this, um, like I say, I got it on eBay for £40, you can get Amazon, eBay and I'm not sponsored at all, it was just a present for myself. So if you go out and get this, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think and let me know your practices, what you've been creating. Have you already got this and you've used it before? Have you got it, put it under your bed and forgot about it? Get out, get painting with it and let me know what you think and let me see some of your creations um, because the colours are so intense and amazing and I can't wait to get on with it. Right, so hope you're all okay and have a nice day guys and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye!